Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Brad and this is World of Warcraft Legion. For the last uh, week, uh, this is a Friday, it's a Thursday night that I'm recording this. Uh, I skipped the last couple of videos because I was doing some work for E3 related stuff and I am exhausted. But uh, I figured I would get on my Panda Shaman and I would go into a raid for the first time this week. I haven't actually been raiding since Sunday, so it's been about five days. But uh, instead of just babbling on about the raid, uh, I'm just going to kind of casually watch what I'm doing in the raid and hopefully not die. But uh, I'm also going to talk about E3 and all the games that uh, I am very curious about and all the games I pre-ordered as a result. But uh, I did watch all the presentations and uh, I got very excited with a lot of the different games that I did see, even the ones that I knew were coming. Like, I figured that Destiny 2 was coming, and or uh, the Division 2 was coming, and sure enough, it was there, and it was glorious, and I'm all excited. Can't pre-order it yet, though, but uh, I'm waiting, patiently. I need a target. I need to target something. But uh, a whole bunch of the games I looked at. Let's see. Um, Microsoft had an amazing presentation. Even the announcements of uh, picking up those five studios and keeping them independent, but funding them for their projects. Fantastic work there. And their stage looked amazing. Their whole presentation was incredible. But uh, Forza Horizon, fantastic. I've always played the Forza Motorsport games, but Forza Horizon, I've never actually played it. I have Horizon 2, but I didn't actually ever open it. I never had a chance to. I think it's still in its wrap somewhere around here. But uh, I think I may actually pick up Forza Horizon 4. It looks so good. It's my guilty little pleasure. Like, I love MMO, MMOs and RPGs, but I really love racing games as well. And I haven't played them in so long. So let's see what I'm, what I'm uh, really gun-ho about. Okay, Division 2, obviously. Totally going to buy that game. Uh, I, it's not for pre-order yet, so I don't know what we're waiting on, but I'll definitely pre-order that regardless. Uh, what else? Um, just before E3 launched, uh, Nintendo announced uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, so I ordered both of those. And uh, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think of all the different games. Oh yes, then there was... I'm going to jump all over the place between the different presentations. Spider-Man. Fantastic. Totally in for that. Um, it seems to play a lot like Arkham Knight, it looks like, but way more mobile in a very Spider-Man way. And I'm totally into that, so I'm going to totally pre-order that. I haven't pre-ordered it yet, but uh, I'm totally going to pre-order that one. And um, then there was uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Fantastic. Oh, like I loved... I loved Origins. Absolutely. I didn't even have a chance to finish it yet. I'm still... I was pretty deep in the story, but I had to stop because other games got in the way in World of Warcraft. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, so Odyssey looks fantastic. Totally pre-ordered that. Uh, Mega Man 11, that was announced a while ago, but, uh, we, uh, the, uh, Amiibo edition of Mega Man 11 came out, so I pre-ordered that, and that I believe comes with an Amiibo and the Pokemon Plus Ball, I think? I didn't really look too far into it, but when I saw it, I pre-ordered it immediately, because I'm obsessed with Mega Man, one of the first games I ever played as a kid. Uh, what else was there? Uh, I also pre-ordered Just Cause 4. I love Just Cause 3. Fun fact, Just Cause was the very first video I ever recorded, and I recorded it for Twitch. And that was a three-hour video I recorded on Twitch. And I took the three-hour video and I ported it over to YouTube and I edited it down to, I think, three and a half minutes. And I did like a blooper reel. Um, I think I called it uh, Stealing Cars, which ended up getting flagged by YouTube, of course. But uh, yeah, and it was all about all the cars the and vehicles I was stealing through the whole time I was playing in those three hours. But uh, that was, fun fact, that was the first video I ever posted to YouTube as well. I don't even know if it's still up anymore. I'd have to look back like to the very first video I ever posted. It may still be up. I think I have it age protected though, because I do curse a lot. I need to target them. And what I basically did in that video was uh, because I was talking when I was playing live on Twitch, um, I did a voiceover, so all the voices you see, hear me saying in that video 
is me voicing over, watching my edited recording, and uh, just being all dramatic and you know just saying you know vulgar words as much as I I felt like. <laughs> But uh, wasn't really my style. I had fun doing it, but it just wasn't my style. This is Ianar, one of the Titans. We're trying to protect her from the Legion, who's trying to attack her. Be gone, intruders! Back to your master. Okay, so what else? Um, there's Just Cause Four, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. I keep wanting to say Origins. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, Division 2, Mega Man 11. Uh, Devil May Cry looked interesting. I've never played Devil May Cry. I've seen trailers of it. It looks kind of interesting, but... Uh, I don't know. I just... I, I don't know why I've never played it. It looks like a fun game. Uh, what else was there? There was... Uh, let's see. There's Microsoft, Ubisoft. Ubisoft had a bunch of really good titles. But Division kind of stole the show for me. Um, let's see, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Um, I love, still love platformers to this day. Like, Super Mario got me into platformers. And, uh, Ori was absolutely, like, right up my alley when I saw it. I heard it can get very difficult, but, um, I'm, I'm willing to play it. It looks like a gorgeous game. So I'm more than happy to play it. Uh, what else was there? Um, well, let's just see. I'll pull up a bunch of... I'll pull up a bunch of titles. I'll just mute the sound really quick here. Okay, now we're back. I do not have a target. Okay, oh, I yes, of course. How can I forget? EA. Anthem Fear looks absolutely amazing. I need a totally up my alley. Everything that I hoped it would be when they started showing it off. And now I'm just, I'm all in. Like, totally in. So I ordered the uh, special edition of... Um, of Anthem. I didn't get the regular edition. I got the uh, Dawn of the Legion of Dawn edition, I believe it's called. So I got that one and absolutely couldn't resist. Had to get that. I'll kill the little guys while everybody goes up to the big guy. I jumped too soon. Whoa, I almost died there. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, Battlefield 5 was announced early. Uh, I think I'll get that just because I love the campaign. And I think I'll get that. I just, I love, if I'm going to play a first person shooter, I want to play the story. Um, you'll notice that if you look back in my old videos of like Destiny and Destiny 2. I love playing the story campaigns. And after that, I just move on to another game. Um, I will play the repeatable content, but I like the story. And WoW, I tend, WoW tends to monopolize, monopolize a lot of my time as well. Uh, sorry I'm talking a lot, but I'm very excited about all the games being announced. Um, let's see, what else was there? Uh, I'm just looking at my list of games here. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I like watching it more than playing it, so I would rather just watch someone play it. Um, that's just the way I've always been with Call of Duty. I like Ghosts. That was the one. Um, that was the one I played that I really enjoyed because I played it just for its, solo, its uh, story. Let's go get my loot. The tormented cries of the Pantheon ring out from deep within the core. Okay, so what else was there? I'm not really big into sports games. Uh, they're the same thing as like most uh, like Call of Duty, where I prefer to watch them than play them. So if I have a bunch of friends who are into sports games, I have no problem going over, hanging out, and watching them play FIFA or NHL or Madden or whatever. It's, it's fun to watch. And it's the same thing with sports. I don't really... Like, yeah, I'm, I'm from Toronto, so of course I'm going to support the Leafs and the Jays and the Argonauts and stuff. But... Um, I like to just watch sports, like any teams that are playing, as long as it's an exciting game. But uh, basketball, I don't love so much. Uh, it just seems a bit slow to me. I prefer like faster paced game. 
Um, what else? Uh, Gears 5, totally in. Absolutely. Um, there's no second thoughts about that game. I loved every Gears game I played. Uh, Starlink. Okay. Starlink is amazing. If you haven't actually watched a trailer on Starlink, look it up on YouTube after you watch my video. Watch it on YouTube. Uh, just look up Starlink and watch the trailer. It's like a lot of the other toy-based games, but it's uh, basically like a... It looks like a space shooter, but it has a toy component to it that you can modify. So you can like attach stuff to the toy and it will modify your ship in game. And that, that was amazing. And then the trailer that they revealed at this E3 actually included Star Fox in it. So if you get the Switch version, you get the Star Fox ship from the actual Star Fox series. And that, I was just like, oh my god! So I ordered all three. I ordered one for the PS4, one for the Xbox One, and one for the Switch. Just because I want to support all the consoles. And I don't think they'll release it on PC because I haven't seen a PC version. I would totally get the PC version if they actually had it on PC. Um, that's my first and foremost. I'll always get the PC version. I have to be careful here or I will die very quickly. I'm going to stay down here just so I can keep talking while I play. I have to concentrate too much if I go up on the... If I go up on the ledges. Okay, what else was there? Um, Just Dance was also announced. Never been into Just Dance. It's, it's fun to watch. And it's fun to laugh at people doing it. Uh, usually my friends. <laughs> but it's fun to watch them actually uh, dance to the songs. And uh, I just don't want to get all sweaty when I'm playing a game. I get sweaty enough sitting when I'm playing a game. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Uh, okay, I talked about Spider-Man. Resident Evil 2. I'm surprised that they actually called it Resident Evil 2. Um, but I was too busy creating some assets for a project, and I didn't really pay attention to the trailer, so I didn't get a chance to see that. Uh, Force Horizon 4, which I mentioned, I am definitely getting. I love the seasons that they added to it. That's interesting. What would be more interesting is if the seasons hopefully change as you're playing the game. Like, say I'm driving through the countryside, and it suddenly becomes like a tropical storm, or snow starts to fall and the road gets really slick. That would be cool. I know drivers think that's a nightmare, but I would find that so much fun in a video game. Uh, what else was there? Sekiro looked interesting. I'm not sure it's my kind of game. It's uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm not sure it's my kind of game, but it actually looked cool. The trailer looked cool. Um, I may give it a try just to see, like, if there's a beta or something, I'll give it a try and see if I like it. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll get, like, uh, Xbox's Game Pass, and if they have it on Game Pass, I'll try it. Who knows? Deploy my Fire Elemental. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. I've never played Kingdom Hearts. Never. I found it so confusing, all the number schemes that they have. It's like, what was there? There was like 1, then 2, then 2.5, then 2 point something else, and then 2 point something else. I was so confused. But uh, it looks fun. Like, it looks interesting. But I've never actually played Kingdom Hearts. And I know so many people that are obsessed with that game. It's at the point where I honestly think I should try it just because so many people love it. And just to see what it's all about. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, that was fantastic that they did something like that. I've never played any of the Smash Bros. games. I know, I know, don't hate me in the comments. But I've never played any of the Smash Bros. games, but it looks fun to watch. And then when they announced Ultimate, it has all of the characters, and then I saw the the actual box art, and it has so many characters on the cover. I was like, what the... And they also, uh, I believe Nintendo showed a image on their uh, their live stream, on their pre-recorded stream. They showed like a scrolling image that showed all the characters, and they kind of panned across the image. And I was like, holy crap, that's insane! I have to do some DPS here, or someone from the raid is going to call me out. 
Okay, so what else was there? Uh, there were a bunch of indie games, but a lot of them, like, they flew by so quickly, I didn't have a chance to actually, like, really get a good look at them. Um, and I guess that was the idea, because they are indie titles, and maybe some of them are still in development, I don't know. But they, they revealed so many, especially the Microsoft uh, press conference. They I think they said there were 50 games they were showing. So, like, they, they went through so many of the indie games, and I had to go back in the live stream and slowly go through each one after that. But I didn't even get through them all. There was just so many. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Fallout 76. Okay. I loved Fallout 4. Um... The, pro the only thing, the only, it's not even a problem, it's a question, and I don't know the answer to it yet, it's Fallout 76 looks fantastic, but is it open world PvP? Because I don't PvP, so if it's open world PvP, I can't pick it up, because I literally hate open world PvP, I can't stand it. Even if it's only 10 people in the world that, I, that are going to see me or whatever, I just can't. Like, that's just, it's not my kind of game. But it looks gorgeous. If it's a oh, world PvP, I won't buy it, but it looks gorgeous. Maybe I'll watch people on Twitch play it, or some YouTube videos of people playing it. Um, just to kind of see what they're doing and how much fun they're having. Yeah. I'll still support the game, it looks good. Uh-oh. Imps. Oh, thank god. I had a couple of shamans help me out there with their lightning. Not bad, she's at 17%. So we have one more boss after this one. There's three bosses per wing, except the last wing. Oh no, well yeah. Yeah, technically there's two bosses in the last wing. There's Argomar and Argus. How do you say Argomar? Agromar. I was thinking Ogromar, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm resisting the urge to sneeze. No, don't sneeze! Okay, so what else was there? Uh, I pretty much went through everything I was interested in. Uh, Metro Exodus, I've never played the Metro games. Um, the trailers look amazing, but just, I've never played them. They're kind of survival games, I believe, so I'm not really into that. I don't like survival games very much. Is that ring better than what I have? No, both my rings are 1,000. A blow has been struck against the denizens of the burning. Cold. Yeah, so all the sports games, pretty cool. This oh, okay. So they also revealed the Super Mario Party. Never played Super Mario Party or Mario Party at all. At but I have to go back and look at the trailer again, because I'm not really sure. The, the artwork ball. looks amazing. But then we again, all Nintendo the titles, their artwork looks that. incredible. Um, but I may pick that up if it's, if it's fun. I don't know what it's about, though, at all. Uh, I've never mm. followed Mario Party. Uh, Rage 2, not my kind of game, but it looks interesting. Don't love post-apocalyptic style games very much, but the trailer my looked amazing. You will not so that be game looked pretty cool. Alone, the demons will pay for every step uh, this last boss is blood. not so tough. Let's skip this. Yeah, this I just have to watch where I'm standing. He's not too hard to fight. But yeah, that's about it with all the games that uh, I saw that I'm interested in. You and go no basically, further, yeah, I'm looking at a... Well, when the games actually come out, it'll be... I'll probably be like paying six, seven hundred dollars worth of, uh, of, mon of, of money. Uh, five or six hundred dollars for games alone. So <laughs> we'll see what happens there. Why is someone attacking this guy? Everybody isn't here yet. There's always someone. Barely enough left to collect. I guess we're gonna fight him anyway. That ability is not ready. Stay down.
Yeah, people are suiciding, but... You're all garbage to your DPS, somebody just said. Because we didn't have people up. See, some people are suck stuck outside now because we started combat without... Stay down. There's only one tank, so we're probably gonna wipe. Yeah, tank's dead. I can reincarnate, but I'm not going to. If they want to be stupid and do something like this, then we're all gonna we're all gonna go down for it. But yeah, so I think the highlights of all the titles that I saw, um, absolutely number one, uh, Division Two, absolutely totally in all the way in you look all the way back in my videos i did a whole series of videos on the division um, money I ever made. for all the different uh, missions that they had so that was a ton of fun um number two this will be my top i'd say top five so division two absolutely number one um anthem number two hands down uh, who else? Um, honestly, surprisingly, I think Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee are my number three together. Um, Starlink is my number four. And, hmm, I think my number five... See, this is where it gets difficult because they're, they're different games and they're all games that I like so much. So, but they're all different style games. So, like... Number five, I'm basically eyeballing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, and Ori, uh, The Will of the Wisps. Those are all tie for fives, but I, but I have to pick one. I think I would pick Assassin's Creed Odyssey, just because I enjoyed Origins so much. And if they make a world as big and cool as Origins was with Odyssey, I'm totally in. I have to get back to playing Odyssey. I think the last video I recorded was the last time I actually, or Origins, I have to go back and keep playing it because I think the last video I recorded was the last time I played and uh, just other games got in the way. But uh, yeah, we're done with that. Okay, so now we're good to go. And there's other titles too that were announced as well, I just didn't catch them all. Uh, there was a couple of Wolfenstein games and stuff. But uh, I haven't played Wolfenstein either. Your heads will adorn Here we go. Okay, now this is the serious poll. Maybe I should power up. At this stage in the game, we should not be dying. Anybody should not be dying. Even new players shouldn't die to this stuff. Uh, you tend to be able to gear very quickly. My whole objective here was to get... Uh, I'm still trying to get gear for my Shaman. I need three pieces from this uh, Antorus the Burning Throne still. And I'm worried I'm not going to get them before the expansion starts. I just like to complete my gear sets. I just haven't been diligent with my rating, so it's my own fault. So here we go. People will get stunned. For sure. Somebody is bound to dispel his magic while we're still on the bridge. If they're smart, they won't. That ability is not ready. Good. People didn't do it. 
a lot of times if you dispel his magic right away, um, he'll go back into aggro mode, but anybody caught on the bridge too long will almost instantly die. Uh oh, where are the ships? Oh crap. Uh, I got hit. When those ships come out and start targeting people, you're supposed to run away from other players. And I got hit again. Now I've got a 15 second dot on me. Don't need a corpse to collect the bounty. A few pieces will do. Uh oh, no, get away from me! <laughs> get away! They're supposed to run to the two ends, but I was standing on the end because I kept getting hit by the guy standing in the middle. It's like, don't come near me! Uh oh. Who's targeted this time? Okay, there's two over there. Okay, they're both standing over there. We're good. so far. Lots of people usually die. We got this guy though. We won't wipe to him. Well, we technically already wiped, but that was from the stupidity. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. This is where we have to start watching where we're standing. Lost it is. Okay, I've got a bomb on me. With that, we are done. Sorry for babbling so much in the video, but I just, I needed to vent about E3 and all the games I saw and all the games I pre-ordered and now I'm just all excited and now I have to wait for all these games to come out. But with that, we are done. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Did you like this video? Then hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more of these videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.